my count. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Well, it's great to be back here in King Lake. The last episode I was on, we had a competition between the Suzuki Jimmy and the 79 Land Cruiser. So this episode, we're gonna do another competition. It's gonna be between the 200 series with Ben and the D-Max. We're gonna do a hill climb, and at the end of the day, we're gonna do a cook-off. It's gonna be something like a master chef in the Australian bush in the 200 today, so hopefully that's got the balls to, to get us where we got to go. ARB head office is like half an hour, 40 minutes away, and we're in the bush already. Advising the plans and that on how we're going to win and take out that competition. Keen to get out there and get amongst it? I think it's going to be a bit of carnage. <laughs> in the D-Max, I've got Simon Christie, who's going to be riding along with me today. It's been a while since I've been in King Lake West, so the other times I've been here, it's been quite wet and different types of cars as well. Today's weather is fantastic, so hopefully uh, the tracks will be awesome. Simon has asked me to come and judge a little competition, put together a bit of an obstacle course based on a number of different tracks that have been mapped on the new tracks navigation app. I'm trying to figure out what type of judging style I'm going to adopt. I've landed on a mix between Simon Cowell and Judge Judy. Tough, but handsome. All right, so I've got the first obstacle here. Oh, I want you to start. go from the starting line, run all the way up to the vehicle. Make yep. sure you work hard. Yep. And on the count of three, we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, go, go! Oh. We're away! Two cuts. All right, let's go. The first track we went on today was quite daunting. We walked up to it, had a bit look down. It was quite a steep angle. No way, no way. There was a couple of moments there when I was like, oh my goodness, have I lost the car here. And there was one wheel up in the air, off the ground. Simon next to me was fantastic. He was telling me which way to turn the steering wheel. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. That's good, that's good, good drive. I was really impressed with Kim's team really trying to break the car as early as possible. I thought that was pretty ballsy. All right. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. That was an interesting approach. So she got both bonus style points for me for that one. For the first challenge of today, it absolutely blew me away. I'm pretty impressed with how the car handled it. Woo! <laughs> Good drive. Well done. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> All righty. Game face on. Time for game face. Coming down, the car just loves it where it sort of can drop into ruts and drop itself straight out. We had a couple of nice little areas where we were popping up the back wheel, which is pretty cool. Faultless, straight down, and then preparing ourselves to get up that next big hill. Mate, look at this guy go. Mate, <laughs> teammate, look at that. Nice set. Yeah. That first hill climb that we did, when we got out of the vehicles and looked down, it actually looked really quite intimidating. Go. Yeah, so, when we were powering up that hill, you could feel yourself, you get that little bit of slip when we were starting to get towards the top there and that we had a couple of little whoopties that we come over the top. Work. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Side rail sort of bottomed out a little bit on a couple of things, but yeah, no, she was still good fun, eh? Right. Go. Nice one. There Loved you go. It. Loved it. All of a sudden, we'd stopped in between tracks and these amazing pastries started getting handed out, which was incredible. I mean, I'm, I'm lactose-free, but who cares? 
Simon was handing out cakes to James, who's the judge. And I'm going, oh, here we go. Bit of bribery going on. <laughs> I feel like a very special boy. As with all sports, bribing the judges is not encouraged, but as long as it's under the table, I'll allow it. I also take cash, compliments. The good thing is that he gave us some of those cakes as well, so that was really nice. Look at that, they're, they're bribing us. Uh, they're bribing us, right? Uh, <laughs> what is this? The second track was really interesting. Definitely got the heart racing, it was super steep. Team A1, the winners, <laughs> is ready for second hill climb. When you are ready, Judge James. All right, hill climb from hell. On my mark. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Come on, into it. And they're away. Put on a bit of gas there. Go, go, go. That's better, come on. It was quite fun. We took it, like I said, with a bit of extra speed. There were a few washouts and a few whoopties that we had to go across. That's good. Oh, hey! Back wheels almost came up. Start the middle. Yep, go, 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 go. Good drive, that's it. Love it. <laughs> She's going to do it. Five again. Popped out. Come on. Cut back. Easy. Yep, go. All the way to the top. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Top. There you go. Off that. Hey. Yeah. Oh my God. Woo Don't be too scared about what you've just seen. On my mark. Three, two, one, go. Hill climb number two. That was an interesting one. Had a lot of whoopsies. It was very, very steep. Over the whoopsie do. Here we go. Ooh. Over the top. I love that word, whoopties. Not sure what it means or who created that word, but whoopties is a good word. <laughs> nice work. Mate, heaps of grip. There you go. I reckon we're doing pretty good time. <laughs> almost at the top, almost. And we are going across the finishing line. Oh, no. Well played, buddy. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Love it. 200. Loves it. That's it. Feels nice and dusty. Yeah. <laughs> Ben did like his air conditioning on full pelt, being a very warm day today. So when we noticed them being quite far away from the 200 series, we snuck in there and just turned up the dial a little bit to high. He's turning his heating up to 32 degrees <laughs> on a nice balmy 31 degree day. What's the stitch up? We've gone over to our car to figure out what have they done for us. I don't know what they've done. That's odd. <laughs> I know what's going on. What's that? Oh, I was going to say that was going to get bloody hot real quick. Ah, oh, we got the right heater on. on. I think I succeeded with that one. <laughs> yeah, well played, well played. The third hill run was actually a little bit scary to see. We walked up, so saw how many ruts there were, how deep everything was. And there was two sort of lines that you could take, a high line or go straight through the middle. Because yeah, you could also slip this side of the car, the left side of the car, in this way. Yeah. You can do that too. Oh, is the judge giving advice now? <laughs> Is the judge giving advice? So there was definitely a fair bit of deliberation over lines and things like that to take. I got a plan. Mm -hmm. I got a really good plan. On my mark, three, two, one, go. Let's go. They decided to be all talk, say that they were going to go up the hard line, and then they decided to go up the easy line. Yep. Safe up. Oh, oh no. no! Keep it going. Into it, into it, into it. Come on. Go! Easy, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go! Oh and my stop. god. <gasps> Woo! Yeah, <laughs> nice drive. <laughs> well done. Right Ready to go. Let's give it a go. We will watch the other team take it on the high side. That seemed to work really well, and we did follow. And go. All right, high line, here we come. And across the finishing line we go. Perfect. There was a little bit of argy-bargy on that track. That was a false start, mate. False start. A little bit of competitive gameplay. Kimberly, you've got to drive it again, taking the hard line. You're making up the rules 
As you go, Simon. Like, we, we're doing two runs at this. It's sneaky, sneaky. Okay. All right, we're going to stick in the rut. Let's go. Oh. Jeez, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to... Up to the right, up to the right. Yeah! Go, go, go. Yeah. Go through, go through. No winching. Oh, my God. Woo. Awesome. <laughs> Went back around, did it again, and took the harder route. In all honesty, having done that track twice, the easier route and then the second route, I do not understand how we couldn't win this competition doing that. So, Kimberly, I reckon while we're here, we have a crack at this. Yeah? Is that what we're going to do? What do you think? <laughs> My heart's racing. We, we came up to a bit of a quarry area and there was the steepest walls I've ever seen in my life. Fortunately, we had to take the challenge and Simon was like, nah, you've got this. I'm like, all right, let's take it. Three, two, one, go. Go. Straight, straight enough, straight enough. That's good, that's good. Now nice and gentle, gentle. Yep, into it, go, go, go. Right hand, right hand, right hand. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Keep going up the hill. <laughs> Woo! Nailed it. Awesome. <laughs> Well played, Kim. Golf clap. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Three, two, one, two. Put your lockers on. Oh, hang on, you haven't got any. <laughs> Don't run the judge over. <laughs> And then I suppose for a cheeky extra couple of points in the competition, we did it again on that left-hand side through some mud and more of a challenge. She lined up the car to take the, the most difficult line. Left, 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 left. Now straight, up there. Right, turn right, turn right. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Come back, come back, hard left hand down. Go, 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 go. Oh. She ended up getting hung up on a few different sections and where a lot of other drivers might call it a day at that point, she said, no, I'm just gonna throw it in reverse and try it again. Go. Nice work, nice work. <laughs> she got bonus style points for getting through that. Ben and Ozzy also threw the Land Cruiser up that little rocky obstacle. It was pretty cool when we hit through the muddy section though, that, that gave us a little bit of wheel slip. 200 went really well, just killed it. We may have lost this one, but hey, it's a competition and my planning started much earlier in the day with a visit to the local bakery. We're here at one of my favourite haunts in King Lake West, the Flying Tarts Bakery. Now today's all about food, and I reckon I'm going to get some goodies in here to bribe the judge and the other team while we're out there on the tracks. I must say, I thoroughly enjoyed being a judge. I had this constant stream of treats and bribes coming through. It looks very good. It's cool and fresh from the ARB Zero fridge. And Is I it mean, a bribe? You're prob of course it's not a bribe. Get into rural Australia, support local businesses, get to your local bakery and have some of this fantastic fare. Well worth it. Oh, did he see that? Bonus points! She got me food fight! Oh! Because these buggers have been cheating all day, we're going to give them a little bit back. And that we're going to give the old car a little bit of flair, some pinstriping up the side with some nice little rainbow colours. Me and Ozzy thought it was a good idea. We went through, decorated the car, made it look like a little bit like a peacock in the front there. Simon is really into rainbows and stuff, so we uh, got all these rainbow colour streamers and put them all over the car and then gave him a big high five and said, Happy New Year. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, what have you done? I think we're getting the points for decoration. <laughs> oh. huh? This is very cute. I think those guys have got a lot to learn about interior design, but, mm. you know, we can make it work. The colour coordination isn't that great. It's not. The last most challenge of the day was a little bit easier. We were able to take it with a bit more speed, not have the rear lockers engaged and just in full high. Three, two, one, go! Go, come on, into it! Go, 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 into it! That's more like it. Easy. Easy. Go, go, go. Nice driving. 
<laughs> Beautiful. That's what that underbody protection oh, is for. <laughs> I reckon that's the rear step saying goodnight. Yep. There were a few washouts and a few whoopties that we had to go across. Thank goodness I had some underbody protection because otherwise that would have ended in tears, I think. But other than that, when we got up to the top of the hill, it was absolutely breathtaking to see those views. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Stop there. Awesome. <laughs> this is amazing. Nice, eh? Yeah. Okay, here we go, the final hill climb. I think we've got to wait for him to say... <laughs> that was just a test run. Three, two, one, go! We had to be careful though because there were whoopties in the way. You lose that momentum every time you hit one of those whoopties. Having that clearance entry at the front, the exit at the back on the cruiser, plus the BP-51, smooth sailing. This is effortless. Take points off, they missed the parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> on the angle, bull bar to bull bar. He's very direct, isn't he? <laughs> After all that is said and done, and we've played our games, and we've had our fun, what we need is a feed. So therefore, it was time to have the MasterChef cook off. I'm not sure how he could fit it all in. We've been bribing him with food all day. Being Italian, I suppose, he does right like now. his food. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> there was a bit of sabotage with the race down to the kitchen. Ozzy got in the way and tried to block our way into the back of the car first time I've actually used one of these kitchens myself. So it was pretty impressive to see how easy it was to set up. We got out of the gate really, really quickly. The other guys were struggling to find their food. We're actually hiding some of the food from them so they couldn't get themselves all kicked up. My meal of the afternoon was a steak sandwich. So we had a little skillet, we had the gas stove top as well. A little bit of bench space for cutting up some extra ingredients. Oh, hey, uh, oh, Ready to go, guys. Ready to go. And serve. Very impressed. Right, thank you, round of applause. Double cheese, Woo! steak sandwich. Look at that. Good. Very good. Very of course, good. I got to eat everything, so it was fantastic. So I'm, I'm well fed. I'm a happy man. Who's the head chef and who's the sous head chef? chef? Head chef. Head chef. Yeah, the sous chef. Yeah, that's right. I do all the chopping. Right. And he'll do the final cooking of it, I'm sure. And the yelling. He does all and the yelling. yelling yes, right. yes, yes, that's right. I think we came back again, you know, once our water did boil, got our pastas on, put our sauces in. We had some lovely chili, some lovely tomatoes, put it all together. Drum roll. Winner. Very good. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> it tasted awesome. So I was pretty happy with it. And then we used another little bribery just to finish it off. Oh, here we go, mate. Uh, just for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that, mate. Did you get a beer with the other one? No, I didn't no, actually. No, you didn't get a beer. <laughs> no, that you no. Say. Out of nowhere, Ben hands me an ice cold beer from the fridge. On a 35 degree day, that is everything. And he got extra bonus he points from me. So here we are at the end of the day, and I'm really interested to see where the points ended up. So guys, it's been a really good day, a uh, very hot day, very sweaty day, but a really fun day nonetheless. Really good effort from both sides. Simon has a lot of tools at his disposal to be able to bribe James. So Ben and I had to come up with something pretty cunning. One of the things that we saw, there was an ARB chair, which James really loved. I'm proud to say that I've been able to remain impartial. I wasn't bribed in any way, my decision wasn't swayed, um, and, and I've gotten to the conclusion that... There can be only one, uh, and after deliberating for you know, a number of minutes, um, I've come to my decision, and that is to award the trophy <laughs> to Ben and Ozzy. Yeah!
<laughs> so what we thought we might do, we might slip that through to him. I think it worked. <laughs> Throughout the day, there was a fair bit of competition, I suppose, a little bit of banter back and forth between the, the two teams, but all in all, it was actually a really wonderful experience. Obviously, we're here to have a bit of a competition, but it's always good to remember that we're here to enjoy the bush. So, are you going to be around for round three? Oh, I have to be, back? man. I'd love to come back. It's been so <laughs> much fun, honestly, and uh, what a great day. What of yours, this is Life of Friday. I hope you've enjoyed it. Ozzy's definitely coming back for the next one. James, he's not welcome. <laughs> <laughs>